Welcome back to another episode of Mighty Master Ida Makuna, and we're still kind of fucking around, just enjoying the vibes, right? Uh, we don't have to go to the next plot immediately, even though I kind of want to. I want a serious arc. Maybe that's all safe for season three, and then from here on out for season two, we've got nothing. I mean, come on, we still have like what? Like 10, like maybe, isn't it called like episode 23 or something, or is it 21? I forget. But we have a lot left. Just kind of fucking around. I think we're going to Walterland now, which is going to be like a theme park. I hope. I, I I don't fucking know where to let, let's just watch. Oh, uh, uh, what? End of the school term. Oh wait, what? Okay. Oh, that's what was his name? Dirkulus? Oh, interesting. Okay, we got some lore behind the end of term. All right, we're actually going to Walter Park. I'm kind of excited, I guess. Uh, we're gonna go on some fun rides, roller coaster. Oh, Clara with a different hairstyle. She's got in like braids this time. That's, I think this is the first time I've seen her. Different style. Also, everybody's wearing different outfits, kind of. This is everybody's wearing. Look at Elizabeth. Damn. Sabra looks like he's about to go to Hawaii. Asa's outfit is just without the extra cape layer, I think. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you see Kamui right there with his eyes? Yep, it looks nice. Kamui. Hey, maestro, get. Relax. Your eyes are gonna fucking pop out. What's going on? Who's here? Karago! Hey, bottom opera Karago? Okay. Oh, Gram's had to break. Kaligo accepted it? <laughs> oh, this is actually far away? I'm I'm down! Honestly, I didn't expect Opera to show with Kaligo too, so okay, this is gonna be more interesting. We should make Kaligo into uh, Eggy Sensei and bring him on the rides with us. Yes, Opera just like completely runs through Kaligo, huh? <laughs> Opera is just Kaligo's uh, kryptonite? <laughs> Kaligo can't do anything against opera. This is like, other than the chair demon. Who, and who else, I guess? Opera really just runs through him. Who? Amiri? <laughs> no, no, look at the outfit. Why does she look a little jealous? Because she thought it'd be a date, but then there's everybody else. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yo, I'm so glad Amiri came. Now? Honestly, I was kind of upset that we weren't going to the next like serious arc. But if Amity and everybody else is here like this, perfectly fine. Damn, she's got so many outfits that she spent so much time trying to decide. <laughs> she couldn't even sleep. Oh, too good, too good. Where are you going? On a date. Compliment her outfit. So good, so good. Oh, oh. Man, their height difference is insane, though. Well, she's a mermaid. How's she standing? <laughs> she looks great. Is it an outfit or is she actually a mermaid? Wait. So, this seems like it's just gonna be a fun time at a theme park, right? Could you imagine if there was an actual serious arc here? Suddenly, we're all trapped here and there's like an enemy threat or... I, I don't know. Yo, we gotta get stuck on the top of the Ferris wheel. Like, Amity and Iruma has to get stuck on the top of the Ferris wheel. Oh? Oh, you'll allow a prize. Okay, what's it? what is it? That's not a reward. That's a punishment for the losing team. <laughs> Alright. But again, how do you measure fun? Sabro and Clara again. They look good together. Anytime like, Clara's on top of Sabro's head, it's actually... Because they're both so goofy. Okay, here we go. Amiri and Iruma has to be on the same team, I swear to god. I will fucking stop this episode right now if Amiri and Iruma are not on the same team. Mm, I no, I can't. I can't. I said I would, but god damn it. <laughs> I want Amiri and Iruma to be together though. Maybe at the end somehow they'll meet at the Ferris wheel. I don't know. <laughs> Amiri's like, that's gonna be me, not you! Yeah, me too. She's she's a threat ever since the little girl time, right? You know, Amity's like, she's a girl. Oh shit, she's a girl. Oh no, what am I? I just realized. Yeah, her outfit's great. It's actually so good. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you spent like 10 hours thinking the night before. Oh, Elizabeth helped out. She looked good in anything. Honestly, it's not the clothing. It's whoever... It's Amity wearing anything just looks great, right? We're gonna go dress up. Okay, sure. Okay, sure. Hey, it's that shaking heart thing from like the TV screen whenever we were learning like, you know, certain test rules and the Kalago would be like, shut up because it's too cute at the end. That's definitely what it's from, right? Wait. It's... No, 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 Don't tell me he's here. Oh my god, here he is. Oh god, this idiot. I love him, actually. I actually like him a lot. No, 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 Oh god. Yeah, I think everybody does. It's been a while since we've seen him, though. Let's remember you, too. Commoners. Not really commoners. I mean, Azaz and Iruma, their prestige and ranking, like not actual like, demon ranking, but like their social high, like the hierarchy they're in. Like Azaz is from like a really prominent family, and Iruma is the grandson of the chair demon. So I don't think we're commoners, or is Ronobe that your father built? Well, if his father built it and we're in this kingdom here in this festival, then I guess, yeah, I guess we're commoners. Super dangerous tour. Okay. Can you skip lines for us then? One of the worst thing is, uh, the basement. One of the worst thing is, uh, standing in lines at theme parks. Cause like, that should, you stand in line for like two hours at a ride, then it takes like 10 seconds to finish and you're like, God damn, that was fun, I guess. Oh, what? You built a theme park on top of a prison. Wait, we might actually get a serious arc then. Maybe? Or are we gonna have a prison break and let them have fun too? Because they're actually not bad people? The fuck? Which prisoner is this? Probably don't know. Oh! Senpai! Kiriwo! Is he gonna... I, I feel conflicted about Kitty Will because, you know, we did have a fun time. We had, you know, I thought you were really on our side, but then he was basically just trying to destroy Babylon. So it's like, oh, but he's an actual bad guy, but he still sticks with this philosophy of trying to return the demons to what they really are. But should we forgive him? I don't, I, I don't know. This is kind of fucked up. Like, I get it. They're in prison for a reason. They're the bad guys, but now they're forced to just, you know, Work on behalf of the people's happiness above? I mean, yeah, that's punishment. It's punishment. But if you were in their shoes, damn, that would suck. That was, I guess that's the whole point, though. What? Some dangerous looking people. The fighting room specific for demons going through their evil cycles. I don't think we're going through a demon's like, why are you pitting us in here? But actual threats, though. I want them to fight, you know, the people on top, but... What are we doing down there for them? Maybe... Kiryu got the barrier, even though he's out of mana. Huh? Oh, we got baited. They're nice people. They're, they're super nice people. So this is the infirmary. What the fuck? <laughs> you set me up for nothing! Break. Prison break. At least one day, let's go above and enjoy the rides. The plan. What's the plan? To go enjoy the rides above. Prison break! Of course, of course. Such as... Wait, what? Who's coming to save them? Who? Musashi no... What? Who are they? Things are getting super interesting now. I was initially looking down on the Walter Park, you know, arc, because I thought it was just going to be another slice of life thing going on, but... Hold up! Musashino is attacking, or the target is Walter Park. Who's in the Musashino crew? Is Bal in it? It's gotta be his senpai, Bal. Or maybe I'm wrong. Hey! Jesus, that's faster than I thought. 
Alright? Kiryu, wherever he goes, man, it's just... I thought that he could maybe reform, but... I'm gonna stay evil, huh? But you have some of the strongest teachers here. Like, Opera, Balam, and Kaligo are all here. You guys really... Who is in Musashino that could compete with them? It's gotta be like people like Bal, huh? Alright, let's do this. Kiryu round two. This makes things, you know, more exciting. And that's another episode of Irumakun. Okay, like I said, I was looking down on this arc thinking, okay, we're just gonna have another downtime episode. We're just gonna enjoy slice of life. Haha, ha, have fun. Bad guys are involved. Oh, tell me more. There's a prison under stairs at the theme park, huh? And then Musashino is coming. Who are they? Have we met them? I don't think so, but based on what was said, he happens to know somebody there. The only guess we could make is Bal, right? But maybe there's somebody else in there and had his connections. But again, Caligo, Balam, and Opera are all here. And that's not to say all the misfits are here too. I mean, I guess they can't really compete with that. Ah, we got Pandarula. We have one shot of Pandarula too in his ring. It's all charged up, so it's gonna get pretty interesting. Also, there is the Dem Doll, you know, performance, which I guess will be at the very end after everything has been settled. I think that's what's gonna happen, like a wrap up of the arc. But if you stick around this long, if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm gonna say. Check out the other videos and playlists to my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps the YouTube algo push out my small channel to be recommended so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.